All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a new day out here. Come on, you know what it's time for? To work on the nursery right now. So what we're getting ready to do is, I wanna go in here, finally get a chance to work on this nursery, man. The last video that you guys saw, it's not recorded, listen, listen to me. It's not recorded the same day or the day prior. That last video, the last vlog you saw, it was recorded probably about two weeks ago when you guys saw me get the bead filter. That's not up to date. That's not up to date. About two or three weeks has passed since that video has um, has been released. So right now, it's just time to continue going on with, um, with the filtration. So we still got the fish here. I need to do some cleaning on this tank. We still got the fish here. They're hungry right now, starving. They have adjusted, they have adjusted to me feeding them, they already know when the king comes in here, when the aquaponic guy comes in here, they know it's food time. So we'll go ahead and give them a little bit of food, get their mind right for the time being, get their uh, uh, bellies correct, because I know their bellies right now have, are touching are touching the sides because they're so hungry. Um, and then I need to, what I need to do, I need to go ahead and, I need to filter out some of this water. I need to do a water change. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this water change going, man. I got the whole set up here. Boom. I'm gonna let them eat and then I'm gonna do the water change. So I'll let them eat in peace. So, but what I really wanna get to is this filter here. Woo! Let me see if I can cut a light on real quick. This filter right here, this is what I wanna work on, man. I'm gonna hook this up. I don't know how I'm gonna hook it up yet, but we're gonna figure it out. So what I think I'm gonna do is, let me see. Okay, so I know that this is the inlet. This is where the, the, uh, the water from the pump is gonna come into, get filtered out. There's beads in here, which are gonna filter out the solids, and this is where the clean water is gonna come through. And I believe I'm going to run it. Huh, let me see, let me think real quick. I might run it up, run this, run a pipe all the way across, the same way kind of how I had it on the other setup run the pipe across and then have uh, each one of these have their own ball valves and flow coming in and then uh, outlet on the other side coming back down coming down to a sump tank here I think that's how I'm gonna do it right now just coming off the top of my head um, I gotta figure out I know I'm gonna need some extra supplies I know that right now so this is not even a mystery I already know it man I'm gonna check through the pile of mistakes first to see if I have any extra ball valves and things of that nature. But I believe I'm gonna need some extra things. I, yeah, for sure, I'm gonna need some extra things. So I'm gonna have to hit Home Depot. This is like the craziest thing that I've seen right here. I keep getting attacked by this bird that is up there. Let's see if you guys can see him. That bird right there keeps attacking. I think there's a, a bird or there's a nest in here. And I think the babies are in here. But let's look at this thing. Ooh, it keeps dipping and look at it. It's like trying to attack. Look at it, look at it. Uh, uh, it wants me to stop going in here. Look at him, look at him. It wants me to stop going by here, but I have to get out. So this was pretty crazy, man. I mean, this thing is coming. Woo, it's pretty crazy. I need these, I need this. I need this, I need this, I need this. I need all of these. Okay, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Back safely. So, go in here and bring these products. <laughs> these products in here. All right, let's get up in here, man. I already put some of it in here. Just a few things. A few things, few things. Got the fish over here looking crazy. Hungry, starving. It's getting their food. This is their third, third feeding for the day. And what I'll do is, after I finish the quarantine process, that's when I'll start recording the feed, writing it down, keeping track of how much feed he's being putting in, uh, put into the tank and their sizes and all that. I'll start keeping track of all that. But right now, we're not doing that. And I still have to change this water. I'll get a hold of, I'll get around to doing that in a few minutes. 
Okay, so as you can see, there's the water coming in right there. This is how I just do the quick water changes on here. Um, it's gonna come out here, and then I just have this little thing rigged up here. This is just a tubing, um, some uh, irrigation tubing just hooked up on that. And then it just comes out right on over here, and it will come out right there. So just a quick fix right for right now, temporary, until I get this entire thing um, situated and set up. So that's it, I'll let that run. I'll pretty much let it run for probably the duration. I'll let it run for a little bit. The flow is not, you know, too fast. I'll let it run for a while while I'm working on the bead filter. And then um, one of my favorite things about doing aquaponics. And what that is, is I'm able to just be in peace, work alone, figure things out. It's almost like therapy. You know, doing something that you really, really, really enjoy doing, not because you have to do it or anything like that. It's like a different type of uh, feeling than anything else. You know, right now it's peaceful. It's peaceful right now. And I don't know, man, it's just it's something different. Yeah, it's something different, man. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. But if you're really into aquaponics, or if you have a hobby or anything that you just love doing, you know, that's the feeling that it is. And it's crazy when you can do that for work. When you can do that for work, that's when you got the ultimate combo. And from there, you're pretty much unstoppable. Because then it doesn't feel like work. Feels like playing a video game. You know, aquaponics is one of those type of things that if it's not something that you have a real passion for and that you love doing, you're not gonna last long. You're not gonna last long. That's any type of farming. Any type of farming. That's just the way it's designed. Well, and, and matter of fact, not even just that. To any extent, it, it, even further than that to pretty much anything in life. If you do something that you don't enjoy doing, you're not gonna last long. And if you do last long, you have to ask yourself after 30, 40 years, was it worth it? Not to me. Not worth it to me. Doing something for 30, 40 years, 50 years that I don't wanna do, and I only get to live for 60, 70, 80, 90 years? No. It's not for me. It's not for me, man. Luckily, I learned that at a young age. It's one thing I'm glad I did learn, is to do something that I enjoy. I actually learned that during the military, when I was in the Marine Corps. That's when I really learned about that. While I was really good in the Marine Corps, top, I was a top Marine. It still was not something that I enjoyed. My particular job, the one, my primary job, I didn't enjoy. My secondary job, I enjoyed, which was a, um, being a, a rifle marksmanship coach. So I said, just teach people how to shoot rifles. The other job, I didn't enjoy. And I told myself, I'm never doing anything that I don't want to do ever again. Never will I do that. Then voila, I found aquaponics, ran right into it, amazing. And as soon as I found out about it, instant affinity. This was not supposed to go here. Let me take this out real quick. I'm sitting there running my mouth, and that was not supposed to go in there. It's supposed to be this. Okay, so we have made some progress. I haven't got a chance to do all that I wanted to do today because I end up, ended up getting uh, thrown off and had to run extra errands and do other things. So I didn't really get as much done as I wanted to, but all I did was the plumb the inlet, pretty much halfway hook up the bead filter. I halfway hooked this up. I'm gonna end up hooking it up the next time I come out here. 
Just gonna hook this up to the pump and then connect it here to this sump tank here. There's a lot that I wanna do to this, to this uh, system here. There's a lot that I have in mind and uh, I'll probably be able to finish. It'll probably take me two more times to come out here looking at it right now. Yeah, probably about two more times to come out here and then everything probably will be, for the most part, the majority of it will be done. So maybe three more times. I, got, I can't underestimate it. I gotta respect it. So that's gonna be it for today, man. This is pretty much how it's looking. You know, a little glimpse of how it's going down. So that is it for the night, ladies and gentlemen. And I will talk to the people on the next episode.